Hey there everyone, welcome to iPad Essential. In this video, we will talk about the most popular note-taking app available, not only for iPad, but across all the platform period. Today, we will talk about the most popular Microsoft OneNote for iPad. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so in order to download Microsoft OneNote, what you need to do in your iPad is simply search for App Store. So here I am searching for App Store. And now here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for OneNote. And if you are a working professional, and your company use Office 365 suit, then probably in that case, you might be already aware of this app. Or if you are in progress to be professional, then again, I would say this could be a great skill to utilize. So here you can see in my screen on the right hand side is Microsoft OneNote. And here we can see the capability of Microsoft OneNote at a glance. I would say this particular image depicts the UI of Microsoft OneNote. On the left hand side column, we can see there is only one notebook named as my note. And then we can see we have created separate section. Although we also have option to create a section group. And then in each section, we can see we have got several pages. And in the page, you can see not only we can insert image, we can also do handwriting annotation. We can write here inside Microsoft OneNote using your Apple Pencil. And not only that, we also can type it and can add additional features. And then here we can see check it. And then it also talk about some of key capability of Microsoft OneNote. For example, here we can see it can instantly convert handwriting to the text, which is really great. And here you can see it also talk about handwritten annotation capability inside Microsoft OneNote for iPad. And then here you can see it is a perfect combo of both handwritten as well as digital notes. Now, let me actually click here on done. And since I already have installed it, so that's why it is showing me open. But in your case, let's say if you have not installed it, you may see the get option. So all you need to do is just click on get and that's how you will able to install it. Now, let me quickly click open it. And now let me open this app here. Here you will see uh, this is how this open up for the first time. Then I would say since this is a Microsoft product, so you need to have Microsoft ID. And if you are working with this app for the first time, then you can sign up for free. And this is again one of very best thing about this app that this is completely free. And despite that, it is one of the most featureful, stable, cloud powered note taking app which is really awesome guys now here let's say you would like to create your new account then you can do that but since i already have i'm gonna click here on sign in and then let me quickly type my account here And there we go here you will see after you logged in you will be greeted with this kind of screen you simply need to click here on next and then here you will see it says that no notebook open so let me actually make it full screen here which you can always go back by clicking back again on this top right button now uh, what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna i'm gonna click here on this back arrow which will basically expand its interface now on the bottom corner here you will see this plus notebook option which if i press it will allow you to create a new notebook so here you can give your notebook a name for example ipad test uh, i'm gonna give it or let's say you know you are in your university here you can mention your let's say university notes so here i'm gonna give it a name as university notes now after that here you can customize the color which is i would say up to you and then here in location you may also define your notebook location and then simply click on create and there we go we have created our first notebook and since this is university notes it could be office notes as well now here we can create a different different section for example first section 
I'm gonna quickly edit it and I'm gonna rename it and let's say it is data structure and then I'm gonna click on done and then um, here again if I tap on section I will in this way able to create new section so here I'm gonna give another subject name uh, which is mechanical and in this way guys we will able to create a different different section now here what we can do inside data structure section I can start creating multiple pages and then here uh, not only we can type for example welcome to first class we can also annotate as well and here on the top we can see dedicated tool tab which is known as draw from here I can choose my pen and then and again here I can um, create handwritten notes and you can always make it full screen by clicking on this option and then here you can write or do whatever you want to do here you will find the typical annotation option that you will see in any other app and then um, here we also have option advanced option for example lasso tool they're gonna give you further option and capability you also have got these shapes option which will help you to create or generate shapes so here you can see I have created two rectangle because of the color is black so that's why they are barely visible well believe me guys we already have created these two rectangle and let me actually go to view and then I'm gonna click on switch background and there we go now you can see these two rectangle that we have quickly created you have got all different kind of tools for example paper style you can also change your paper color you can also adjust your paper width uh, which I would say totally depend on you it also comes with this immersive reader that actually can read what we have written now just like desktop version here we have got all these typical features of Microsoft OneNote available here as well and then this is one of very few note taking application that also allow you to translate your content to another language for example uh, let me actually convert it to Hindi and if I click here on document and there we go here we can see and really I do not know how many note taking tool can actually do it now it also have got the option of privacy for example let's say you would like to hide this data structure you can click here on protect this section and then here you can set up password so let me actually set it up and now let me actually click on done and now this data structure is password protected and now if let's say if I go outside and if I close this now if I go back again and here in case of data structure what you will see is lock and then here we need to provide password to unlock and see the content so this feature is also I would say a very nice to have and then as I said that if you are working professional and your company utilize office suite and then learning or working with Microsoft OneNote going to give you additional benefit as because this is again one of the very commonly use note taking application even in corporate world and let's say you already have created existing notebooks and you would like to access them just go back to this interface and here we need to click on more notes and then here you should able to find your notebook that you have previously created so that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if yes then please do like and subscribe to ipad essential to see more such content related to ipad and productivity and i will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye